Hello friends, welcome back to my channel. Today I am going to share with you an interesting topic on nanotechnology's prospect for treatment of COVID-19. We all know that worldwide many people are suffering because of this uh, current pandemic. Currently, there are no validated vaccines or specific antiviral treatments for COVID-19. Most treatments currently used including cardiovascular, respiratory or hemodynamic are supportive. That is, they support patients suffering from the viruses. Unfortunately, these treatments are given to relieve complications and side effects but do not effectively kill the viruses. Therefore, it is very necessary to find a vaccine against the COVID-19. So, worldwide, many uh, researchers and scientists are working together to develop a vaccine uh, for COVID-19. So, to develop a successful treatment for COVID-19, one must understand when the mechanism of actions of the viruses. So, we all know that this uh, novel SARS-CoV-2 uh, coronavirus 2 uh, that use a lock and key mechanism to infect the healthy tissues or healthy cells. So, in which um, antigen uh, tension converting enzyme 2, that is ACE2, acts as a key to enter the specialized cells which hold its lock, that means the healthy cells. These target sites can be found to be uh, found in the lens or heart or arteries or kidney and intestinal cells. Once it is inside, the viruses will use the host cell organ to replicate and infect other cells. So based on that, um, that a treatment that can prevent the viruses entry into the cell may be of uh, effective manner. So, so a group of researchers uh, from Northwest University and uh, MIT uh, they developed uh, and they are developing a new peptide based therapeutics for targeting and disabling the coronavirus. So uh, the count, uh, um, the main uh, concept of this uh, is uh, uh, recently this MIT a group of researchers from MIT uh, they developed a, a, they discovered a peptide molecule uh, that specifically and strongly bind to the coronavirus uh, spike protein that means the surrounded uh, um, protein so uh, we, uh, we know that the peptide drugs uh, which, uh, which we were used uh, for many treatments uh, but the challenge uh, is um, these peptide drugs easily degrade by the uh, enzymatic activity which is in our uh, present in our body. So they lose the efficiency. So this is the problem they are facing with this particular peptide, discovered peptide drug. So uh, what they uh, so they collaborated with these Northwestern research team from Northwestern University. So uh, in Northwestern University, one group of researchers they uh, they used a, a nanostructure um, that can that have already proven to be highly effective in regenerative medicine. So that nanostructures can carry the peptide. So that is a, 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 a nano carrier for the peptide molecule. So uh, we all know that um, for carrying these peptides, so you, can, you can see many uh, type of nano carrier are available for carrying these peptide molecules. So uh, I don't know, they didn't mention which uh, nanostructure they used, they still, it is in a developing stage. So uh, they said that say um, water based channels is there in that, water filled channel is there in the nanostructure carrier. So um, which that water filled channel uh, 
which hold the uh, uh, liberal therapies and uh, protect them from the destructive uh, means uh, enzyme degradation so that is the uh, thing so they both are um, they both are co- doing some collaborative work for developing uh, um, a vaccine against the covid-19 so this is Uh, really interesting because uh, once this peptide can reach the target site um, so the, it can um, completely um, kill the viruses so for uh, the problem they are facing uh, is the degradation so the, the degradation also they can avoid by this particular nanostructure that already go in the um, regenerative cells so this is very interesting so uh, we will hope for the uh, very best result okay another graduates so, from uh, bharati university they developed a hpp nanoparticle uh, for treat the uh, covid 19 okay so in this uh, this group of researchers they already proved uh, a drug molecule that is nicola samaid so that have been proved to have a great antiviral effect on this particular sars coronavirus 2 and uh, the problem uh, is uh, with this uh, particular drug is uh, its limited solubility so to increase the solubility of this particular drug and uh, this uh, group of researchers they recently succeeded in increasing the solubility by um, 5000 times using plant based nanoparticle of ohpp that means uh, octanoid succinate hydroxypropyl phytoglycogen so uh, this plant based uh, nanoparticle uh, which increase the uh, solubility of the particular uh, nicola samaid drug that is the antiviral drug and uh, that drug, this uh, drug uh, they used to treat tapworm so they found that uh, this uh, drug have strong antiviral effect against this uh, sars coronavirus 2 so um, so this is uh, one of the uh, great uh, achievement so um, here we will uh, hope for the very best result recent Another development is the nanostick nanoparticle based treatment modalities we all know that the use of nanoparticle in the medical field which hold great promise in developing novel diagnostic and diagnostic solution for treating covid-19 as sars coronavirus 2 has a diameter of around 125 nanometer which fit in the nano scale size range so this biocompatible nanostick nanoparticle can thus um, provide um, simultaneous detection and neutralization of the novel coronavirus by several approach one such approach we can see in this picture that is which uh, nanoparticle uh, this thanostic based nanoparticle uh, which we were used for treating this um, coronavirus so in this approach um, this nanoparticle can be delivered by intranasal route this nanoparticle um, can be coat means uh, is um, formed by conjugation with the therapeutic agent such as uh, si rna peptide inhibitors or uh, antibodies or can be administered as a virus like nanoparticle and uh, this uh, this can be prepared into an emulsion or solution form and easily administered into the patient via nasal spray as the result uh, an effective therapy against the sars coronavirus 2 so this is a very good approach to kill the uh, coronavirus so um, we will hope for the better result so uh, this all these are the few recent developments in the uh, vaccine
vaccines against the COVID-19. I hope you may gain some information about this topic. Please share with your friends and contacts. Thank you for watching this video.